All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. And uh, this is part three for the for uh, this logo, the advanced logo tutorial. So from where we left off, this is what we got for the text laying. Um, let me just bring this up. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of work to do to um to finish this so we're gonna start off by doing this the shadow in the background so this is actually this is actually pretty simple so what you want to do is you want to take the text layer you want to hold alt and anytime you hold alt and you drag on a layer either going down or up it will create a duplicate as you can see and we're just gonna take this and you want to use your arrow and um, you want to use your arrow keys to just make a shadow to just um, move it down for the shadow. So we're gonna go over here, something, something like this. We're gonna pick a color. We could actually just copy this color, so why not? Let's go ahead and copy this color right over here. Let's just take that. All right, now what you want to do is you want to make a new layer. And you want to go up here to your polygon on the lasso tool. Um, if you can't see it, it's probably set as the lasso tool. You just want to click and hold. Go to the polygonal tool. And um, now you want to go to your eyedropper, just like this color. Go back. And what we're going to do here on this new layer is we are just going to connect these points. And once you once you have made a selection, you just want to use Alt Backspace Control D to deselect it. And you just want to do this for all of these parts. All right, so once you have done that, as you can see, it looks like um, proper 3D text. We're just gonna hold control, click on the, um, the, <laughs> the layer, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, we're just gonna hit control E to flatten it all into one layer. So this is your 3D effects. And now we're just gonna make a new layer. So hit new, hold alt. And go in between and when you click right in between it will create a clipping mask so basically anything you do will only affect this layer so we have that um yeah now we're gonna now you want to use um black color and we're just gonna make some shadows so it's exactly like this just paint right as you can see down right over here uh, make a new layer and clip it again this time use white and we're gonna create some highlights so change this to overlay And I'm going to go to blending options again on the 3D thing. And I'm just going to add an inner shadow, normal black, choke down. Actually go overlay, turn this down. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got this. Um, let's see what else we need. Um, I don't exactly want to do these star things yet. So how you do these is you just take your ellipse tool with the color white and just and um, just make a circle. Now you want to take your pencil, make a new layer, and you just want to make 
this shape and just duplicate it um, on the circle it's pretty self-explanatory but uh, just take this rotate um, that was fine so let me get a little bit smaller take this I'm gonna keep it back up just in case because I rasterize this that means if I make it smaller and I bring it up it's going to get blurry so I'm keeping that just in case and you just want to place these around the text so yeah, like this Alright, that looks good to me, and uh, that's going to be it for part 3, um, yeah, I want to keep these parts relatively short, but um, next part, we're going to move on to the Legends text, and uh, I think after that, we're going to make some of these vectors, so uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial, make sure you check out our shop, um, we're starting to add more and more products, so um yeah check them out if you like them uh buy them <laughs> it will help us out make sure to leave a like and i will see you all in the next video